people ask the question, what exactly is ecumenism? It is important, my brothers and sisters, to realize that ecumenism is a branch in the Catholic Church created as an avenue to bring back all Protestant churches to Catholicism. The question is, can the Seventh-day Adventist Church be part of ecumenism? Can the Adventists join ecumenism? My brothers and sisters, it's very important for us to realize that the true Adventists will never join ecumenism. They have no part to do with ecumenism. This is actually a, a, a branch of the Catholic Church and the Catholic themselves, they know for sure that the Adventists will never join Catholic, uh, ecumenism. But of course, we may see our individuals in ecumenical gathering. We can read that the General Conference is part of ecumenism. But I want to submit to you, my brothers and sisters, that the true Adventists will never join Catholicism. Now listen to what they say in Catholicism. Now, this is actually, this paper is written, the Catholic News, this is actually written by the Jesuits. They say, Seventh-day Adventists cannot change its views on the Catholic Church being the whole of Babylon without admitting that it was wrong on, seventh, uh, on Sunday worship. It cannot admit that Sunday worship is not the mark of the beast without changing its views on the Jewish Sabbath. Seventh-day Adventists cannot cease to be anti-Catholic without ceasing to be, be Seventh-day Adventist. What exactly does that mean, my brothers and sisters? Real Seventh-day Adventists will never join Catholicism. They will never join ecumenism. But now the question is, what exactly do we see? What is happening in the church today? How come we see the General Conference of the Seventh-day Adventists being part of ecumenism? What exactly does that mean? Are we being deceived here? Are we missing something? What exactly does that mean? My brothers and sisters, we have dealt with this question. And I will deal with it at length in our next presentation. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen.